Hello, my creative creatures. Today, we have a new craft, but first, here's the book that we're reading. Very good book. We're using UV resin to create a beautiful water drop effect in resin, and I'm using that to make these refrigerator magnet letters. So the first step is to do the UV resin. You're gonna use UV resin and also regular epoxy resin. But first you have to put the UV resin in droplets. What I would say is like, make sure you do blobs and droplets, just like water would normally condense. And when you're done, you use a UV light to cure it. I'm doing it for, I think it was 150 seconds. So just like two and a half minutes. And before I forget, if you're enjoying the video, don't forget to hit the like button. And to see more crafts like this, don't forget to subscribe to Hey Ma. After the UV resin is cured, then it's time to add your mica powder. I just did like a rainbow. I used every color in the box basically. Uh, but you might want to do something more streamlined. I'm using a cotton swab. You can use like a eyeshadow applicator or something like that to apply it to the inside of the molds. Lots of pretty, pretty colors. Okay, once that's done, it's time for the epoxy resin that you want to color black. That just makes the mica powder show up better. So I colored it black and I'm using an eyedropper to put it, or a pipette, I guess the technical word is for it. I'm using a pipette to put it in the mold. That would be the neatest way to do it, but I was impatient anyway, so I had a little bit of a mess when I finished, but I just used a paper towel and wiped it off and I knew I might have to clean off a couple letters. Actually, I didn't have to. I didn't have a lot of overflow or anything like that when I was done. When you finish, you also wanna make sure if any bubbles come up that you do pop them. Here's a part of the craft that is a big fail. I am leaving this in because I get value out of learning not only what to do, but what not to do. I knew that the UV resin needed to be clear or like the UV has to be able to see the resin for it to cure. I still thought that if it saw the edges, I might be able to use it for the magnets. So here I applied it again and I used it to apply the magnets. That was a big fail. It never cured. <laughs> it made a mess, but I didn't realize that until I tried to put it on the refrigerator. It seemed like it cured. I tested it to see if it was still hard, but then it was not um, because these are rare earth magnets and they're very strong. They easily pull off, so it was a big waste of time. Don't use UV resin to adhere magnets to the letters. Use super glue. So then I went through it and I used super glue to kind of glue the magnets in and I let that sit overnight to cure. It's supposed to be faster than that, but I don't know if it was reacting with the resin or some the UV resin that I had before or whatever. It was staying a little bit wet, so I, I waited half a day. And with that, the craft was finished successfully. So this is the final product. 
and I'm going to wrap this up because Dean is sitting on my keyboard and I can't get anything done anyway. But if you enjoyed the craft, don't forget to take this time and please hit the like button. If you know anybody who would be interested in this craft, feel free to share the video. And if you'd like to see more like this, subscribe to Hey Ma. Here's some suggestions of videos that you might enjoy. Stay creative. Bye. Mm-hmm. <laughs>